time for a go. This is a message for the 25th until the 31st. We're going to see what activation is coming your way in regards to the full moon that is happening at the end of the month on the 28th in Leo, which is all about the heart. So where are you in alignment? What is being activated for you? What energies from the Oracle 7 and what spell um, will you receive? I will put the description in my description, the incantation for that spell. And then I will clarify with the Lightseer's deck and give you a final making magic card. So let's begin and let's see what is being activated for you right now. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to all my Virgos. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell. Okay. We have the card of magic at the bottom and then I have integration. So the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. That is so beautiful and that looks like the Sriantra, which I believe um, I have that tattooed. So this is bringing the energies of the masculine and the feminine and when we integrate in our life anything that we're not understanding what happens is that magic happens new doors open and here i have 30 and 31 so threes can be significant for you the card of integration is when we are not understanding something and really need to bring that polarity of the two together every aspect like it said so the street and i know that that is the street which talks about it literally means sacred instrument with this so it's formed by nine inner locks and five and i just want to actually show you on mine so it's right here and it's the nine so it's a five masculine four with the feminine which makes the nine bindu which is the integration of the masculine and the feminine here um and it's really is about the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Really bringing that upward triangle represents the male, Shiva and Shakti energies together. So this is really integrating the masculine and the feminine that is within you and harmonizing, bringing these things together, really understanding. So some of you could be integrating some part of your journey at this time, the duality of things. So it's really telling you to really look at the union and the completion of things and not so much the duality of things. Really, when you start to integrate things from different perspectives, right? What happens is that magic happens. You get a new understanding of things. Here with the Oracle of Seven, the Oracle, and I, I just love this Riyantra. I love what it stands for. So here we have Close Encounters. Wow, number 10. So you are completing something. The butterflies in a cage. Look at this. There's butterflies in the cage here. And when there's butterflies in a cage, it is talking about really setting yourself free, transforming, and it's so beautiful because this card also is talking about a transformation that is happening here. You know, uh, this is where you integrate. This is where your vulnerability is tested. Look at that beautiful, um, you know, is that cage open? And I'm seeing here, it's just letting, you know, Close Encounters, I'm going to go to the book with this, but I do believe it's in letting other people's wounds, um, letting other people see your wounds. So if you just give me one second. These are brand new cards in here. It says, vulnerability as a strength, letting others see your wounds, yes, as well as your strength, setting healthy, healthy boundaries. So it's a time of connection that asks for you to be vulnerable and authentic. Let go of wearing a mask and setting yourself apart. So again, it's it says when you become close to people, you remind yourself that you're not alone. You're part of a beautiful, meaningful bond, your deep spiritual level. So again, it really is seeing things, integrating. You're to integrate these beautiful aspects of yourself. And how have you transformed, but how have you kept your own freedom caged is what I'm really getting from this because you know, this is a butterfly that's outside of that. So how are you feeling that you need to be alone? That's another message here because there is magic. There's all this beautiful magic that is around you, but you're wanting to keep yourself wounded. You're wanting to keep yourself built in these 
in this cage that is around you. So it's time, it's asking you really to break free. It's time for you to come out of that, to you see yourself as this beautiful transformation of this beautiful butterfly and how everything is connected, the duality. This is what it is that you're looking at, the connection of all that is, because there's so much more to celebrate if you just allow yourself to share your heart and really integrate this aspect of yourself that keeps you in a place of duality and separateness, feeling that aloneness. Okay, so let's see. Wow, that was like a lot that just came through. Okay, so way too many. I'm going to put these back and I'm just going to cut the deck and just take the first card. And wow, this card has come out for so many people out of all this. So right now, I guess a lot of people are being asked to trust, to really trust in this transformation. So again, I'm going to write the incantation in um, the message below. Why is this card telling me no, trust? So it says, you'd be wise to be watchful and to trust no one at this time. So I, hence, I could see why you're putting yourself in that. Um, cage right keep yourself to yourself and do not buy into any fear or chaos that brings stirred up around you okay you know the truth so stand strong in being true to who you are remember that relationships whether personal or business should be built on trust and a mutual agreement could test your faith you've been let down badly before and it's taken a while to trust again However, someone vulnerable needs your assurance and a secret is shared. It's time to prove how trustworthy you really can be. So I will put the incantation in the card um, in the description. So if you'd like to do it, you can. And now I'm going to pull. And here it says, you know, this is where I'm seeing two people that were together. Whoever this is, the trust was broken. But this really is in integrating you know, you can stay in that wound, you can stay in that pain however long you need to stay in that. Um, you'll know when it's right for you to trust again and to allow yourself to be set free because you've integrated, you've learned. There's so much that you have learned to where you can trust the magic of life again. So let's go into the tarot part and the cards that come out. The chariot. Yeah, this is movement forward. Chariot, Cancer, and then we have Sagittarius. So it's time to bring yourself back into the place of harmony and bringing back yourself, really making this movement forward. So you're moving forward towards magic. This card comes and says, it's time. It's time for you to make that movement forward and it's time for you to step into bringing harmony. So there could have been some things in the past, a relationship that threw you out of balance. But this now is talking that something is changing that's from within you and hence, this card talks about being fearless and really moving forward. This is a card of harmony, of really coming together. And this is beautiful because the chariot card is about integration. It's about the light and the dark, the masculine and the feminine. And this is really forward movement. So this really is an understanding the duality, understanding the masculine and the feminine role and in really integrating um, the two and bringing magic hence back into your life. So let's see needing to bring balance between two people or between you and, and, and others. And what is it that you are to trust at this time? Your heart, it's in reverse. So this is your trusting right now that possibly some of you still have kept your heart blocked and you could clearly see that with the with this beautiful butterfly that's in a cage. So this is saying you're, no, you're, you're not trusting your heart at this time. So it's a time of healing. It's a time of self-love. And this is what you're trusting. You're trusting your healing at this time. It's really what the message is because maybe you feel like you trusted your heart before and it really let you down. During this full moon, there's a lot that's going to be uh, shown to you. So this is your own fears and this is uh, where things were not illuminated and how you were to move forward in the full moon. Pisces Cancer um, is associated with that card. And again, we have Cancer here. So this is really moving forward and helping you see illuminate things of the past that you were not able to see before. And we'll get one more card before I close you out with the magic card. 
the card that wants to come. Oh, too many cards, so maybe I won't give you any cards. Okay, be careful of any temptations. So the devil comes and says, you know what? Again, actually, you know, this can be so positive because whatever um, your thoughts are, this is what you're integrating. You're moving forward into magic and you really want to integrate what has had a hold on you. You know, what have you kept this little knot around your finger which threw you out of balance and but you know anytime things like this come it actually pushes one into self-healing and self-love so you know what is how what has had such a hold tight on you this is the question you want to ask yourself you know what are you willing to release here with this card you know how are you willing to release uh, what is it that you're willing to release are you willing to release and to come out of this feeling left out feeling left out in the cold blocking yourself from all energies you know it's good to go within and to do inner healing at some time we come back out we come out wiser because we took the time to go within and to see what really had a hold with belief systems what thinking or if somebody right had a hold on you so this really is as a wake, wake of um integration for you and it's beautiful because why look at that perspective the motivation to keep going despite the odds yeah because oh i'm sorry perseverance is what i saw in that perspective and it's funny because um as i was shuffling the nine of wands had come out which also talks about perseverance so this is saying, yeah, you're going to keep going. You're not going to stop now. You're not going to keep yourself in prison to negative thinking. You're integrating. This is a time of integration for you. So during this full moon, there's a lot of movement forward because why you're integrating here, the divine masculine and the feminine, the protector and the nurturer, really integrate that so you can break yourself free out of this cage and transform, bring your life back into harmony and into balance and do not give up. Sending you much love, much light. Until next time. Namaste.